Sunderland are getting beat 4-2 and before we start this video I want to say an eight-year-old child was hit by a vape at half time. At half time Sunderland were winning 2-0. When the second goal went in a Burnley fan, one Burnley fan threw a vape off the top hit an eight-year-old child in the back of the head and he was in tears distressed and was put in the Black Cats bar. There's pound coins being thrown by the Burnley fans vapes being thrown by the Burnley fans this has to fucking stop you know pardon me French this has to stop never mind the result never mind getting three points the security and the welfare of fans is the most important thing Sunderland Football Club the ownership You'll have to now me, put away, have to yeah. now put nets up put nets up up there to help secure the safety of the Sunderland fans let's get back to the vlog here we go, back again with another match day vlog and Sunderland welcome Burnley up to the Stadium of Life. Burnley in fantastic form under Vincent Company, having a great season so far, only lost one game. Can Sunderland make it too? We welcome Burnley to the Stadium of Life, have a safe journey up to the Stadium of Life and a safe journey home to the fans, but hopefully going home with their second defeat of the season. As you can see, down below, we have the team news. Here is today's team. So team news, yes. Palace and in goal, Trey Hume comes in in place of Luke O9 who moves into the position of centre-back where Alessi was and has been for the last few weeks. And unfortunately, Alessi will not be seen between now and the World Cup out for four to five weeks. Another injured player, another injured player to add to the list. We have second there, Evans... Roberts, Neil, Embleton, Pritchard and Clark. It's 4-1, 4-1, the same as it was during the week. We didn't play too bad against during the week, just had the bad official. That's all that happened. Now I'm off to meet, meet, wait, meet, Wincy in the pub. Yes, I'm going to pop along and give Alex Dixon his hat that he won during the week for predicting the correct score, predicting the correct score. Hopefully we'll bump into him. But first, I need some brunch. What time is it now? Half past 11, time to get some breakfast dinner before I go for a pint. See you in a bit. There we go, some breakfast brunch. Last night's leftover lasagna, absolutely gorgeous. Nice bit of lasagna, a little bit of tomato ketchup on there. Let's give it a bit of taste, even though it's absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, the food reheated the day after, never tastes the same. Mmm. But that will, that will fill a small hole, definitely. Ready for those pints to be ingested later on. I'm going for a 2-1 Sunderland win a day. Here we go, we're heading off to the pub to meet Winchy and Jonas and have a couple of pints. And it's a lovely day, a bit blustery. I'm feeling a bit subdued today. I don't know what's the matter with us. Maybe that's that lasagna. I don't know if I feel a bit off colour now. <laughs> Doesn't say much for my cooking, does it? There we go, there's the Belmont. Time to get in for a couple of beers. Hopefully Winchy's already in. Do you want us what you got to do? Dirty fries. Dirty fries. Cheesy chips. Like cheap, Cheesy it? chips. Oh, got some nice. Uh, and Wincy's got a Madri. Madri. That tastes nice, Wincy. Right, tastes better like hell, now. How are you feeling today? All right, now. Does that taste like three points? <laughs> Must be four pints, or say three, three pints plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy those dirty fries. <laughs> trying to find where Wincy's gone. Where's Wincy at? Lovely day, I think it's a beautiful day. We're having a Madri. Wincy. What the fuck? Wincy, what's going on? Are you getting a tan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's at the beach here. Mint most of the sun's nice. Look at isn't that. It? Beautiful. Is it nice, nice and warm for shorts today, Wincy? Oh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, oh his hat's blew off. off. <laughs> I'm going to put my foot in sunstroke, eh? <laughs> yeah, in sunstroke. It's <laughs> a bit breezy anyway. How are you doing, Wincy? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Oh, beautiful, eh? Nice one. Put on, mate. Are you going for a score prediction today? Eh, uh, first thing to do. Sun play at Burnley. Hume tree. Hume's back under the side as right back. Luke 09 goes to centre back and unless he's out for four to five weeks. 1 0 Sunderland. 1 0 Sunderland to beat. Eh? Uh, to beat Burnley 1 0. Who's going to score? Clark's up front. Roberts. Roberts will score. Roberts, aye. Nice one. Roberts 1 0. I might, I might let you go and just chill out there in the sunshine. Yeah, I don't want really to disturb you. Though. Get yourself back to sleep. Get shot when the bus comes. Right, I'll give you a wake. See you in a bit, mate. I'll give you a shot when the bus comes. <laughs> Here today with three massive Sunderland fans. We've got Natasha, 
Brendan and of course Jonas. We'll start with Jonas. Right. Score predictions again, Burnley. 2-1. Um, 2-1, yeah. who's going to score, Jonas? Uh, Clark. Um, Clark, 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 Clark and Roberts, 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 Roberts. We'll get back yeah, to you. Maybe. Brendan. <laughs> um, Brendan, score prediction. I reckon we'll, I reckon we'll nick it 1-0. 1-0? Yeah. Who's this? How long have you been supporting Sunderland for? Yeah, just to be honest, quite a long time. Well, who's your favourite all-time Sunderland player? Can you think of one? Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine Defoe, nice one, mate. We're going to win one nil against Burnley. Good game. Vincent Company, fantastic manager at the moment for Burnley. Mm. Who's going to score today? Um, I reckon Patrick Roberts. Patrick Roberts, it's great to have a female on the show. <laughs> Natasha, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. You all right? You. Are you on the wine today, I bet? Yes, I'm on the wine. Wine o'clock. What's the score going to be today? Uh, well, one nil. One nil, who's going to score? Well to Sunderland. Oh, God. Um, no idea. Who do you no, fancy? Uh, yeah, Clark, know, really. Roberts, there's no strikers in it. Who? Richard. Richard. Clark, maybe. Clark, maybe, alright. So, how long have you been a Sunderland fan? Oh, all my life. All well, my what's life. your favourite, oh, I think, put you on the spot, what's your all time favourite game or player? Favourite game, I don't know. I was more chuffed when we beat Newcastle. Oh. Yeah, was it six games in a row. Yeah. Six, in a, six row. in a row, nice one. Who's your favourite player? All um, time? Is it Kevin Phillips? Do you mean Defoe? Defoe. Defoe, Defoe. Big Defoe fans. Big Defoe. Enjoy the game. Thanks for being on the vlog. Thank you. And we'll see you. Catch us later, hopefully full time, <laughs> with three happy fans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today we're young Finley. I'll get your name right second time around. What's the score going to be today? 2-1 to Burnley. 2-1 to Sunderland? Or Burnley. 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 Do you not feel confident? No. We'll be surviving the championship this season, though. We will. Nice one. Who will score for Sunderland? Clark, I'm going 2 1 2 Sunderland. Mick, thoughts on the game today, mate? Take a point today, Terry. Doing well, Vince, the company side, aren't they? Hi, doing well, take a point today. Score prediction? We took the um, 2 1 to them. 2 1 to them as well? Uh, I'll take a one. draw, but. Aye, took, aye, aye definitely, aye. You'll be over the moon with the draw. Oh, I'll be over the moon with the Exactly, mate. Take Hopefully. A take a point today. Happy days. Hopefully, I'm, 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 me, me, me heart says 2-1 to us, but I, me head says a draw as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, today in the Hilton Hotel with Lewis and Michael. Michael, are you enjoying the season so far? Definitely. How can we not be? What's your thoughts on Vincent Company? Quality. Quality. Absolute quality. He is an absolute legend and star, isn't he? He is indeed. Who's your favourite Burnley, Burnley player? Um, Mikey Josh Cullen this season. Ah, nice one. What's the score going to be today, mate? 8-0 uh, Burnley. 8-0, really? No, how? Oh, proper score. 2-1. No, 2-1 two, one. Two, two, one. One Burnley. Good luck, mate. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. Score prediction today, mate? I'll go 3-1 Burnley. 3-1 Burnley, you're doing brilliant. Who's your favourite Burnley player? Uh, Nathan Teller, I reckon, this yeah. season. And thoughts on Vincent Company? Very good. Good football. Yeah, that's playing the way we should be. Are you getting promoted this season? Easily. Easily. Easily yeah. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Nice one. Thanks for being on the vlog. Take care. Where's Raymond Dad? There he is, Raymond. Yeah. What's the score going to be today, mate? 100 piece. What are you doing in this queue, mate? What are you doing in this queue? Yeah, what do you think? Are you buying a pint? Aye. Three. Are you, three pints, who for? Three. Oh, happy days, mate. Happy days. What's the score going to be today? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Who's going to score? Pritchard's do one. Who? Pritchard. Pritchard, isn't he? Uh, he's got the highest amount of misses in the championship. Really? Aye. Most shots without scoring. Something like 27 shots. Will well, something be safe in the championship this season? Yeah, half there. Nice one. Thanks for the pint, mate. You're welcome. Special I'll get man. Pints up, man. Rinsy, you're dying the thirst. I'm going to drink there. I'm going to drink Mick, show us your top. Uh, all sorts. Oh, he's dying the thirst, Rinsy. Look at this top. Oh, nice one. Look at that. The quality of mixed top. Man. That's absolutely superb. That nice one. Is that a Sonin badge as well? Oh, what year was that? Any idea? That is a quality one. Clock stand on it. Nick, that's amazing. Happy days. Hey, today we're top Sunderland fan. John, John, how are you feeling today? Top of the world, mate. Top aye. of the world. Aye. Are you pleased with Sunderland's performance so far in the championship? Aye, a bit rocky late, but obviously the forward line's a bit of bit the cow for a little if we had the forwards I think we're doing a lot, lot better like you know unless he's out for five weeks we've had players like Ballard out Stewart out Sims out we've had players out left right and centre we've been lucky right, right. 
but it's good to hear on the other hand that Ballard's on his, on his way for That's recovery. Good, yeah, definitely. And I think that'll fill the back, back line in just greatly with him back in the squad, like, you know. So. I've heard of Dave Tree, Hume starting his right back and Luke O'Neill's going to centre back. What's your thoughts on the squad today? Right, I think we'll win one now, but I think it'll be hard. I think it'll be a hard game, like. I'll be uh, over the moon with a victory today because right. Vincent Company side is superb. Massive following of, of Mears and Burnley away fans. Uh, he's a sore loser, and I would love for us to win, like. Uh, definitely, <laughs> uh, Thank you, Mears. Thank you. Take care. Take care, mate. Right. Enjoy. Cheers. Are you having a pint? Aye. Aye. So am I. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey today with Burnley fan Robin, you've been a big Burnley fan for 66 years. Right. How are you feeling confident at this moment about getting promoted back to the championship? I think we'll, we will get promoted at the end of the season, whether it's automatically or in the playoffs, I think we have a good chance. You're having a great start of the season, you've drawn eight, but you've, won, you've only lost one. What's your thoughts on Vincent Company? Uh, it's looking good, different way of playing football, it takes a lot of getting used to. The passing around at the back can be a bit scary at times, but, uh, but it looks good. Personal thoughts, the manager that just left did a fantastic job. Yeah. Would you have kept him? No, I think it was right for him to move on. Was Nine it? years, everything had gone a bit stale. Looked like the players weren't playing for him, but he did a fantastic job. Incredible. Who's the best player you brought in for the championship season? Is anybody who stands out? Uh, the centre-half on loan from Manchester City, Taylor Harwood Bellis. He's, he's already good enough to play for England, I really? would say. How old is he? 21. That's absolutely amazing. So what's the score going to be today? Uh, I'd like to think Burnley would win 2-1, but we, we do like to stick at one all for some reason. Yeah, right. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you have a great season. Good luck on promotion. And Take you, care, guys. mate. Thanks High five. Bye-bye. High five. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Give me last straw, give me the bar. Never mind last straw, Rincey. We'll take a draw today and bite the bullet. What's that? I'm going to have a fucking change of bite the bullet. And what have you got? Good old birdie bastard. Shit, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> it takes all sorts. It? Well, it takes all sorts. Well, well, well. <laughs> so many Burnley fans are here today. You want me, mate, as well? In the queue. Look, few, few, few police here today, Wincy. Right. Few police. Better be careful what I'm doing there. Eh? Time for program. <coughs> yeah, program. Oh, it's my mate. <laughs> Few Burnley fans here today. Look at the queue of the Burnley fans. Few of them in there. A lot of Burnley fans out there. Yeah. A few police as well. Good. Should I ask if I want to get any blood? I'll ask them. Excuse me. I'm going up the lift round here. I do a YouTube channel. Do you want to do a scope prediction for the vlog? He yeah, will. What? Do you want to do a scope prediction for my vlog? Yeah, I will. What's your name? Mike Price. Mike. Who did you with Mike? Mike. What's the score going to be the DMS? 2-1 for us. Who's going to score? Uh, Teller and Virginia. What's your thoughts on Vincent Company? What a fantastic job he's doing at the moment. Oh, he's, he's just changed it all together. Absolutely uh, brilliant. What? Will he get promoted? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. Take care. Cheers, bud. Thank you. Thank Anybody you. else? No, no? Thank you. There we are. On the vlog. We going in. Stop recording. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's a massive, absolute massive Burnley queue today. Either side. Oh wow. Massive Burnley queue today, great support, great support, look at them all. Massive Burnley support today. Thank you, thank you mate, thank you. Alright mate, massive Burnley support here today. Here today with Mike, Mike. What's the score going to be today, mate? 2-1 for us. Who's going to score? Uh, 
Cella and Vitinho. What's your thoughts on Vince and company? What a fantastic job he's doing at the moment. Oh, he's, he's just changed us all together. 100%. Absolutely brilliant. What? Yeah. Will he get promoted? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. Take care. Cheers, bud. Thank you. Ben. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on, Jack. Let's go for it, Come on. Hey, dude, we're top Burnley fan. Jack, score prediction, mate. 1-1. 1-1? It's got to be 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one. One, one as well? Yeah, yeah. Really? We'll be 1-0 up until like, the 85th minute like we always are. Uh, and then we'll concede in the last five minutes. Thoughts on Vincent Company, mate? Oh, right, it's relax. great, yeah. Just, I think we need another striker. Breath of fresh air? Yeah. yeah. I, Jay's it, doing well, though, Jay. Yeah, yeah but if we don't get promoted, then we're going to lose Vincent Company, so... Who's going to score the deal, mate? Is there our yeah. Will you get promoted this season? Yeah. You will do. Definitely. I yeah. think you will as well. Good luck, mate. Cheers, if we win bro. today, we've got some hard games coming up, so I think nice we'll one. Win. Good luck, mate. Good luck, mate. Have a safe journey home. See you later. There we are, top commentary team on there. Frankie and Danny. Absolutely doing a fantastic job for Sunderland. Get yourself on to the official live stream of Weir Matches and these two commentators. Brilliant job they're doing. Absolutely fantastic. Danny, Danny Collins. Absolute legend at Sunderland. Hey, to the outside, the Sunderland dugout with Alex and Amiga. How are you doing, lads? Good. Massive Sunderland fans. What's the score going to be the day? 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one is the score. Jack Clark. Who's your favourite Sunderland player? 4-9. Will we get promoted this season or stay in the championship? I'll say season or two in the championship. Nice one. Oh, What's the score going to be the day? <laughs> Uh, three one. Three one. Who's like your favourite Sunderland player? <laughs> Sorry. Who's your favourite Sunderland player? Aji, please here. Will we stay in the in the division today, this season? Yes. Yes. What's your thoughts on Tony Mowbray doing a great job? Uh, favourite Sunderland player? Aji, please here. Aji, I've just said it, haven't I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice one. Take care. Score prediction. Two one Sunderland. Um, Pritchard and Clark. How are we the lads? Scott prediction. I reckon we'll get beat one now. Really? Aye. Oh no. Man, that's sad. But he's speaking through his head rather than his heart. Oh, yeah. Scott prediction. Uh, one nil to us. One nil. Two one. Two one. Two, one. I think we'll get beat one nil. Favorite Sunderland song. Oh, uh, I think. Hey 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 hey. My favorite player is Lyndon Gooch. Lyndon Gooch. Ah, uh, he's out on injury. Who is your favourite player of all time? Ross Kevin Stewart. Phillips. Ross Kevin Phillips. Stewart. Nice Ross one, mate. Ross, Ross Stewart. Stewart. Oh, Take care and enjoy. Scott prediction. 2 0 Sunderland. 2 0. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, lads. Have a shot. Oh, yes. Brilliant finish. Brilliant finish. Here we go again. Oh, they're all going in. They're all going in. The shot's on. That's how you do it, that's how you do it. Hopefully we'll win the day against Burnley. Very difficult game. Oh, good save, good save, lad. Here's Diakou, Diakou with the shot, Diakou! Oh my God, never mind, it happens. Hey, today with Geordie Boy 29 YouTube channel. Pop over and subscribe to your channel. What's the score going to be today, mate? Uh, I'm going 2-1. 2-1 to Sunderland? Yep. Who's going to score? Uh... Richard and Clark for us. Legends behind you, there's a legend behind you. Danny Boy interviewing Frankie. I always call him Frankie Fredericks. What's his real name, Morgan? <laughs> Frankie Francis. Frankie, Frankie Francis. Francis. Frankie that's Francis. That's 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 sorry, one. Frankie Fredericks. Yeah. Today's Frankie Fredericks. <laughs> Frankie Fredericks. Frank <laughs> Frank <laughs> yeah, it's a tongue twister. Uh, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. <laughs> What's the score going to be today? Yeah, you know, I'm not confident. I'm going 1 0 to Burnley. Really? Just will Sunderland stay in the championship this season? Oh, of course we will. That's all we course want. We will. That's all we want. Top, top half. Top enjoy, off. Morgan. Enjoy. Too, Take care, mate. Take care. Too, Thank you very much. Is that on top, Sunderland fan? What's the score going to be today, mate? 1 0 Sunderland. Who's going to score? Diallo. Who's your favourite player? Stuart. Nice one. Enjoy the what? game, mate. Well, hey. Happy days. Three points. Wednesday, 40 minutes gone at Sunderland 2. Burnley nil. Moon, eh? Thoughts on the game? Main game so far. Eh? Goals from well. Ahmad, tapped it in. Clark, 2 0 Sunderland. Uh -huh. Apparently the game was stopped for five minutes because a fan, one Burnley fan, 99, yeah, 99, what? 99.9% .9 of the fans of Burnley <laughs> are fantastic. One idiot has uh -huh. thrown the bottle over. What happened? Who would you ask? I just wanted the strippers down there. Yeah. And the button 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 button. Oh. One Burnley fan leave. threw a bottle uh, over the top and hit a kid. Hit allegedly thrown uh, something over the top uh, and hit a kid in the back of the head. One 
idiot Burnley fan, mm. but the majority are fine. It's, huh? it's not good right, enough. We right. need netting up there, don't we? Netting we need to protect oh, these fans. I've been down below. Exactly. Yeah. We. I don't care if someone hits me. I'm not bothered. Vince doesn't bothered care. Nah. He's got a thick head. He's fine, isn't he? Exactly. Yeah, I'm not bothered. But it's these young kids and you know and other vulnerable mm. people down below mm. are being hit by missiles from certain fans. Huh? You know. These are not real true fans. Nah, These idiot. are absolute idiots. Idiot they should be banned from the stadium. Like I said before, the majority of the fans are perfectly fine. It takes one fan to spoil it. So, final score, mate? 4-0 uh, or something. Fucking 4-0. Yeah. I would love that. I am buzzing at this moment in time. I didn't uh, believe. Uh, 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 Who's that? Mahan. Who? We'll get him. Mahan. Ma oh, we'll get him on the vlog in a minute. Uh, All right, now. I'll tell you now. Half-time, Derby gets 2-0 to Sunderland. Oh, What's your yeah. thoughts at half-time? Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I tell you now, the Sunderland are playing absolutely brilliant. After the other night when we were robbed. Ah, we were, we were, we were. I tell you now. Better referee you know. today, better referee. Better referee, aye. Exactly. So, we've got to keep it gone. 2-0 half-time goals from Madden Clark. Aye. Right. Final score prediction, mate? Uh, three now. Me? That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Right, lovely. Right over. Thank you, hey, mate. Take care. I'm out with the moon. I tell you now, I'm going to watch you all the time. Well, you Judge away. Like. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, right yes, go. Hey, final yeah. score. Yeah. Final score. Hey, I said 2 1 at the start. Yeah. And I think that's. Wait, the fuck is fouling out, man? Three points. Oh, fouling out. Three, four, four, three four, points. Be amazing, wouldn't it? Three points. Two one. Come on. <laughs> What's the final score going to be? 4-0. The way 4 nil, Sunderland, come 4 nil, 4 on! 4-0, 4-0! The way the player now will oh, go 5-0. No, unbelievable. 2-0, Sunderland! 2-0, come on, the lads! 4-0. 4-0. Aye, it's all 4-0 now. Starts on the first half, mate. Oh, oh, he's got prime! I've got prime! I'll see you 3-0 to Sunderland. 3-0? 3-0. Are you enjoying the first half, mate? What's your name? Michael. Michael. How's the first half done? Class, class, class. Better, better than I thought it would be. Really, yeah, better than I thought. Brilliant. Come on, 3 0. That's what Hopefully I Hopefully, no more people throwing things up the top. I will shut them up anyway, sorry. Chuck it in and take on there. Well, 60 minutes gone, at Sunderland 2, Burnley 2, Burnley have come back into the game. Vincent Company's put a rocket up their arse at half time. It's 2 at the peach. Burnett's just come on for Sunderland. Hopefully, we can get that winning goal and get the three points against a very good Burnley side. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable, Sunderland 2, Burnley 3 They've come back from 2-0 down, they've been leading 3-2 I oh, can't believe it Burnley winning 3-2, for fuck's sake man Raymondo, it's finished, we've lost You know, end of the day, we're winning 2-0 at half time What yeah. happened at half time, what happened second half? Well, they just came out and buried us. They, they were far, just far superior than us in the second half. We Vincent, were, Vincent we, Company? Company, yeah. He, did the business yeah, half time? Did, yeah, did the business. He, I mean, to be honest, he carved us up in the second half too. First half was even Stephen, even though we were 2 0 up. That's they, against Rad, they, still, they still had some kind of football cleared. But they, they're better than us. Same yeah. as that. I'm good at I'm absolutely good at I think they'll go up as champions. Yeah, they're, they're really good team, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Really good team. I mean, you can bring Gio Rodriguez on. This is so, you know. I know. I'm absolutely good at So it's finished, Sunderland 2, Burnley 4. Before we get to the video, I want to say congratulations to Burnley. Well done, Vincent, company and the side. Come back from 2-0 down at half time when I thought they had absolutely no chance of getting back into the match because Sunderland were the better side in the first half. To come back and win 4-2, well done, Burnley. But there's more important things than the result today and it is the welfare and safety of Sunderland football fans. In the first half, Sunderland scored the second goal, and after the second goal went in, some of the Burnley fans, and don't get me wrong, there was a massive following of Burnley fans today. The majority were absolutely fantastic. I spoke to loads before the game, 
absolutely forthcoming and brilliant, but one or two spoil it for the vast majority. Objects were thrown down after 20 minutes when Sunderland went 2 nil up. A vape was thrown onto the back of a head of an eight-year-old child. Eight-year-old child got hit in the back of the head with a vape. Pound coins were thrown off and other objects. You saw it. After 20 minutes, the players were ushered to one side and there was an announcement over the tannoy and on the screen saying, away fans, please stop throwing objects. Now, this young lad, eight years of old, ex you know, one of his first experiences being to a football match is being attacked by a Burnley fan. Attacked by a Burnley fan. Imagine an object thrown from 200 feet up a height. I mean, I don't exactly know how high it is. It's a long way up. Hitting a young kid. He comes to the game to watch the team he supports. Regardless who you support, regardless where you are, you should not be attacked at a football match. This young lad, taken to the Black Cats bar by... By, by, by the security team, he's distressed, crying his eyes out. It is absolutely fucking pathetic that this is still happening. Now, last week, you know, I was taught to stop recording football footage and I abide by the rules. This week, others, other, should we say, people who work for Sunderland Football Club, have approached me and asked me to address this on my vlog. Address this on my vlog. Before the match, I saw Frankie. I, I call him Frankie Fredericks, but his name's Frankie Francis. Frankie Francis and Danny Collins. Now, Frankie Francis, before the match, I got a selfie with him, and he did say it was, he's really busy, he can't be on the vlog, and he did say the mad mistake, so he obviously watches the vlog. He obviously, him and Danny Collins watch the vlog. So, Danny Collins, Frankie Francis, you, I want, I want to see pressure put on to the ownership of Sunderland Association Football Club, KLD, Sartori. The ownership needs pressure putting on them. We need netting up underneath the football away fans. We need netting there to protect young children down below who are being abused by away fans. It's not every single away support. It's not every single game. It doesn't make much difference if it's one game out of, a, out of 20 plus away games and someone is hurt. It is one game too much. We need, the netting is there. It needs the check signing. We need netting up a height to protect our away fans down below in the Carlin stand. It is pathetic. That's this. We, I've said that. I've been shouting for this after the Coventry game when a flare was thrown down and people were saying, you know, net not cost too much. It, it, it obstruct the away fans. And, you know, we put more security up there. It won't happen. It will happen. As soon as away, away teams are getting hammered. Like Burnley were 2-0 down. The fans got angry. They were upset. And some of them threw objects down and hit an eight-year-old child. KLD, Kirill Louis Dreyfus, put net up there. It won't cost that much. Just do it. Show your, you know, sh put your conviction in. Show that you respect and that you support the fans, the welfare, the safety of the fans comes first before any fucking result. Why have we got to put up with this now? Portsmouth, Flair, Flair Gate. It should be, at the end of the day, I hope KLD, you know, it's pressure's being put on them. I don't know what the situation is, but it needs sorting out. We need, and I've spent five minutes talking about this now. This shows you how important it is. We need to protect the Sunderland fans down below. I don't give a shit if I get hit on the head by an object. I couldn't give a fucking shit. End of the day, I'm 53, 52, my life's fucking almost over. It's young fans, eight-year-old kids, their experiences at the stadium of life, being attacked, being attacked. It's absolutely pathetic, pathetic. It's gotta stop, put netting up. That is the only answer. We can't change and we can't move the away fans down below because of all the season cards being sold. There's got to be netting put up there, help our stewards, help the police, you know, and, and most of all, stop Sunderland fans being attacked down below. 
right, I've said enough now, that's it for that. Now the game, winning 2-0, goals from Ahmad and Clark, half time, happy days, we're going to win this match. <laughs> it's never simple with Sunderland, never simple with Sunderland. We came out second half, you know, end of the day, I respect Vincent Company. I think he's going to be a class manager, he was a class player. And he got, he got his team sorted out at half-time. I don't know what they did. But he fucking put a rocket up their arse at half-time. And they came out and they turned us over 4-2. We haven't got a striker. Christian Speakman. How long are we going to... Are we going to are we gonna keep on going the rest of this season to, to fucking the January window without a striker? We've got to play... We've got to play through their team. We've got to play through their team to get a goal. And I know... Obviously, we've got a makeshift defence as well. We can't, you know, unless he's out. Unless he's out. Ballard's out. I don't know why Bailey Wright's not starting. Proper centre-back. We need now, probably now, it's time maybe to put Bailey Wright. Start Bailey Wright. We've got to put a fucking centre-back in the centre. Tony Mowbray was a centre-back. What has Tony Mowbray got against Bailey Wright, an Australian international? Who's going to the World Cup? Why can't Bailey Wright get a start? He must get a start now. Next game, Bailey Wright. I'm sorry, we've got to put square pegs in square holes. It's got to happen. We've lost the day. Burnley, for me, are going to get promoted. They're going to get promoted. They are. They're class. They, they can bring Jay Rodriguez on. And, you know, it just shows the strength and depth. I have to say, Speakman. Sitting on his, on his laurels at this moment in time, we need we need pillars in. We only four points of relegation, and people were saying to me the other day, "I'm being negative by thinking we're going to get dragged down in the relegation battle." Believe me, we are going to fucking get dragged down in the relegation battle if we don't get players in bodies in, because we are now, you know, the cupboards bare. The cupboards bare. We down to the scrapes, the scraps. We've got to bring players in. It's okay, bring a load of kids in. The kids have no experience. We need to bring some quality, experienced players into this club. Or we are going to go back down to League One. I know we are beaten by a better side today under Burnley. And hopefully we can come back against Luton next week. Thank you for watching the vlog. Now, please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comment section, should we have netting up? No eight-year-old child should be hit on the back of the head by an object from a way fan. It is fucking ridiculous. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the vlog.